Warning! The following program contains extremely explicit language and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. The rage of the madman will not be silenced. Call him a person with a brother's defiance. An addiction to the deadliest sin. The ribs of sanity are worn by two men. I know it won't be stopped. I know it can't be stopped. I know it won't be stopped. It will not be stopped. All right, all right. What the fuck is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, one and all. Cemetery Stereo guys, I'm your host, Nikki Casket, as most of y'all fucking know already. Now I've got something extremely fucking special for you guys on Cemetery Stereo this week. I don't think I've ever been more excited for an episode of Cemetery Stereo in my fucking life, guys. Now I'm gonna be doing a review of Silent Horror's brand new unreleased song, Astro Fiends. Now, as many of you guys know, I am a fucking huge Silent Horror fan. Silent Horror has changed my life. Now I first heard of Silent Horror when I was fucking, I was doing a workout and they were up next on my fucking YouTube playlist. Needless to say, I did not finish my fucking workout. I was, I was fucking, I was checking these guys out and I've been, I've been hooked on Silent Horror ever fucking since. So the fact that I'm doing this video right now is probably the biggest honor I think I could ever receive. So I'd really like to thank Silent Horror and Brando for the opportunity to do this for you guys. Now Astro Fiends is going to be releasing in the very near fucking future. So I'm going to be putting all their fucking links to their online store and their social media accounts in the description down below. So be sure to fucking check them out. Send them some love and tell them fucking Nikki sent you. Now, I don't even know where to begin with this review because I had easily over five pages worth of notes. There's a lot of shit that I want to touch on. But to kick it off, I'm going to be fucking hitting y'all with a little overview of my fucking thoughts and opinions on the first few listens of this fucking song. Astro Fiends is hands down already one of my all-time favorite silent horror songs. And that's saying a lot because... Everything that Silent Horror produces is absolute fucking gold. And now this next statement is extremely bold, but I will stand behind it fucking wholeheartedly. This is probably one of my all-time favorite songs that I've ever heard in my life. Not just only in horror punk. I'm talking like fucking ever, guys. I get fucking goosebumps every time that I fucking hear this song. No word of a lie. Every single time I hear this song, I get goosebumps. It is absolutely a fucking work of art guys now let's take a more in-depth view of this fucking song now this song kicks off with some very eerie kind of sci-fi sounds that really sets the tone for the whole song it was really well done personally i found that it brought me back to that kind of beware era of silent horror and i really really dug that i really enjoyed that i love the beware album and i love the beware era and beware is my fucking happy place now, being a guitarist myself, my mind automatically just goes to the fucking chord progs. I don't know why, but I just, I always zone in on the chord progs the second I fucking hear a song. And the chord prog for this song was absolutely fucking incredible. It was, it was everything that I want in a horror punk song. Now, I also feel it's necessary to note that all the fucking gang vocals, the, the backing vocals, and all the woes were executed fucking perfectly. It was really well done throughout this whole song. All the fucking backing vocals. That's a fucking big fucking check mark for me. Now that also includes all the harmonies, guys. The harmonies in this song is absolutely mind-blowing. It's incredible. Which leads me in to my next statement, guys, and the next thing I want to talk about is the lead vocals on this fucking song. There is a reason that Brandle was one of my all-time top five favorite fucking horror punk singers. There's a method to my madness, and this song is uh, just another fucking example of why he is one of my all-time favorite fucking horror punk singers. Brandle's vocals were absolutely phenomenal on this song. This song really displayed his fucking vocal capability, his range, and just everything as a vocalist. This just fucking... Nail in the coffin why he's one of my all-time favorites. Now the next thing I want to touch on is the finish that these guys did. They did a big fucking finale finish to this song. And it is, it is incredible. It is fucking spectacular. I don't use that fucking word too often. But this fucking finish to this song was absolutely spectacular. The fucking cherry on top to a fucking perfect song. Now for the final thoughts. 
Astro Fiend's hands fucking down gets a hard 666 out of 666 for me. Cast a stamp of approval. This song fucking grabs you from the start and just captivates you throughout the whole duration of this entire song, guys. In my opinion, Astro Fiends is the exact formula for a perfect horror punk song. And I will fucking stand behind that. It has everything that I look for and everything that I fucking love in a horror punk song. Astro Fiends brings to the fucking table with a fucking vengeance. Silent Horror fucking raised the bar on this one, guys. They really stuck to their roots on this fucking song, but at the same time kept that amazing silver screen era sound that we all fucking love. And they created an absolute fucking masterpiece. There is a reason why Silent Horror has always been one of the kings of fucking horror punk. A band that we all look up to and all idolize. And Astro Fiends is a fucking concrete example of why. But guys, that concludes my episode of Cemetery Hysteria for this fucking week. Now I'd like to give a special thank you and a special shout out to Brando and Silent Horror for giving the opportunity to do this and review this killer song for you guys. I know for a fact you guys are gonna fucking dig this song and I can't wait for y'all to hear it too. And as I said earlier, make sure to fucking follow Silent Horror on all their social media. I got all that shit in the description down below. You do not wanna miss when this song fucking drops, guys. I promise y'all that. But I shall say, we may be freaks, but we are not alone. Everyone will die.